Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Today's program is a popular demand program. Uh, playing behind me is a video that I put up on YouTube last Monday. And since putting it up there, I have had countless questions or requests to, to give advice on how to build this water fountain that's going on here. And give credit, this is uh, my friend Mary Namasek who lives uh, not very far here from the store. This is her backyard. Uh, she put this fountain together last fall, and I had a video up uh, from the fall. And then uh, she tried to keep it going during the winter months. It was very, you couldn't do that, so she took it apart, and she put it back out this spring and in migration. And if you're a regular follower of me, if you listen to any, watch my videos, you know what a huge proponent I am of water and providing water for birds, whether it's unfrozen water in the winter months with a bird bath deicer, or in, in, especially in migration now, moving water. Because moving water is a magnet for birds, and this video is living proof of it. Uh, several of the birds in this video are migrants that are passing through this area. Uh, there are resident birds too. Here are the gray catbird in the bird bath right now. There's a cardinal comes in the bird bath. But there's also Nashville warblers in the video, Swainson's thrushes in there, yellow warblers. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a beautiful uh, testament. And I know I'm talking through it, but if you want to watch this and just listen to this trickling sound and the birds singing and all, it is on the YouTube channel. Like uh, I said, I just posted it last Wednesday. And I'll put a link in, uh, for you um, in the description under the video today. But um, So how do we do this? Well, moving water is so critical. You, and you, it, one of the things that this shows the importance of is cover. And it may not be as quite as evident from the camera, the, the television view, but for birds to have confidence, especially migrating birds, to use a water source like this, it needs to be in cover. It needs to be where they feel secure and, and the trees and the shrubs and everything around it to, to sneak in to get to the, the and bathe in the bird bath because there are predators out there. You also have to consider if you have cats, if you have house cats, neighborhood uh, cat free roaming cats, which obviously we're not a big proponent of, but you want to put it out a little bit more in the open than you normally would just because uh, the birds need, need to be able to see a, a would-be predator coming along. So those are upfront tips, but moving water is essential. Now, what is this? Well, basically, this is just a type of tub. You can get them anywhere. There's all kind of uses for them there in your uh, landscaping, your uh, potted plants at home, but this is obviously has to be able to hold water. Um, this is one, I think Mary found this one on the internet, um, and it's got to be big enough that the water, it holds enough water that, that there's not a lot of splash out of it. It can, it, you, you've got to be able to keep enough water in it. Some fountains, and this fountain that she's used here is basically an aquarium pump, and these are available in lots of places, at the big box hardware stores, at little uh, pond stores, at aquarium stores. You don't want one that's too strong that's going to shoot the water out of the, of the bird bath, uh, but you want it to, it to be strong enough to keep the water moving. And so what Mary's done here is she has used natural rocks and stack them in many layers, and this is critically important. When you see the difference in the size of the birds using this bird bath, the little Nashville warblers need a shallower water. When the cardinal comes in, he gets down here in this deeper water where that cat bird was. So you want different depths of water for these different birds to, to utilize, but you've got to keep the water moving. And so this aquarium pump is sitting down underneath the rocks, and it's shooting up through here, and Mary's got a, a, a stone on top so that it, it diverts the water down and you got this cascading effect. And there are commercially available uh, uh, bubblers and, and layer rock waterfalls that work. This is a uh, one that we have here at the store, and this is the, the pump that actually and it goes with it. It goes in there and it fits in here. But this is only, you know, uh, it doesn't give a lot of different layers, so the addition of more rocks in there is really, really important. Yes, it needs electricity. Um, remember, for it to be in cover, it needs to be probably in a shaded area where solar is not going to work that well. And the solar that, uh, we have a couple of solar things that we've tried to use, but they shoot the water too high uh, and they splash out so the, the bath ends up running out of water. So you've got to be able to keep it in there so this cascading effect is much better than something that shoots the water high up in the air because it doesn't hold that 
that much of water. It had, you know, you've got a finite amount unless you're out there filling it all the time or have an autofill. I think the pump that Mary uses is one that actually shuts off when the water gets too low. Um, it's got the, that feature to it, and it probably costs a little bit more. You know, there, you, the, it depends on what features you want in your pump as to you know how much you're going to spend there. The other part, of course, is cleaning. You've got to keep a bird bath clean. And Mary tells me hers is she's having to clean it about every other day because she has multiple activity in the bird bath. Lots of birds come in and use it. You see in this video, there's just a constant usage of it by birds, um, especially I think you know in the early part of the day. Um, and then it, it, so you've got it. It needs to. You need to build it such that you can take it apart, easily clean it, and then put it back together again. You don't want something that's super complex, super heavy, things like that, um, and enjoy it. Now, and then the core of the other questions that I've been asked is about the camera. Uh, what does she use? How, how is she filming this? Believe it or not, she bought, uh, from a recommendation with another friend who has a setup similar to this, she bought a ring doorbell camera off the internet, I think a used one. And that's what this is being shot with is a ring doorbell camera and it goes to her phone so she can actually watch it on her phone uh, what's going on outside in her yard when she's not able to watch it she can actually see what's going on there which is a really great idea so uh, it, it, it's so beneficial to birds and, and it is such an addition to your your garden landscaping plans native native plants I mean, is huge into native plants uh, you've got cover she's got bird feeders uh, but water is so so important uh, I hope you can come up with a system for yourself like I said an exit a, a, a man made a regular man-made bird bath with a bubbler in it or a mister that shoots a fine mist of water out those are all wonderful uh, at attracting birds this setup is a dynamite I mean I just absolutely love it and you can see the results it comes a Baltimore Oriole coming in going to get a drink as well so uh, moving water a magnet for birds especially migrating birds that don't know where they are and they land they hear that running water sound boy they're drawn to it they've got to refuel they've got to eat, uh, eat, drink some water bathe to, to preen their feathers to get healthy again so uh, it's a great setup for your garden uh, like I said we'll put a link to this video in this video so you can, uh, if you want to listen to it in peace without me talking through it, it's, it the sound's wonderful, um, and of course the sight, and you can loop it, and you can play it for your cats or your dogs at home, and then things like that. So it's just, it's just a fun video. So thanks so much for the idea, or uh, kind of the demand for this video. <laughs> oh, please, please. So uh, it, it's a great idea. Uh, water so important. Give us a like. Give us a share. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe. Until then, come on, let's talk birds.